I'm doing a mini session for one of my patrons. If any of you are interested in joining Patreon, come visit me at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. I'm going to go ahead and relax here and get tuned in. There aren't any goals, so I'm just going to be sharing psychic wisdom and energy healing as guided by spirit. So... So there's a very ugly looking monster here. It's got a very, it doesn't have lips really. It just have really sharp teeth. It has uh, ears that point up to the ceiling and it's black and outlined in silver. And it's got kind of a pig like nose. It stands really tall and it looks very angry and aggressive. And what's interesting is this image is changing. And as I continue to look at this, this monster, all right, I start to see it change into kind of like little rectangular shapes. And the rectangular shapes are kind of moving um, outward and inward and outward and inward. And it's very pretty. It's like it's creating a design. So all of the pixels of this monster um, are kind of turning into a pretty design that's just going out and in and out and in, almost like it's breathing. So it takes the edge off, like it doesn't make me feel like I'm standing before something scary, big and scary. It, it makes me feel like we can change anything from big and scary to something more pleasant. We can change anything into something else. And so if we want to stand before um, something big and scary, we can choose to feel intimidated and threatened by that. Or we can choose to po like point our finger and laugh even. And because we can change the way that we are perceiving things. Because um, this is an energy world. And so this image is here to intimidate. Its, its goal is to create fear. And so it, it is big and tall. It is ugly, scary looking. It is menacing, okay? Um, so we could, we, it could do its job, right? And make us feel really small and scared. Um, or we can see this menacing appearance and we can just see it differently and that changes everything changes everything and it brings the power back to you so you have the power you have the control of how you choose to um, relate and re react to anything in life this is just bringing it right on back to the human experience you have the power to transform the way that you see anything um, into something that gives you power again But I will say that as we talk about the scene, something feels flat. It feels like we're missing a step. And I see a blank page. I see this is over here on this left page, and now we're here looking at this right page, and there's nothing on it. It's just a white blank page feels like you've acquired a lot of perspective, uh, acquired a lot of challenge that you've overcome in order to look into the eyes of something that could have been a big problem or really intimidating, really scary, and then you transformed it. You transformed that entire experience, and now what? Now what do you do? What's, what's the next thing? What's the next page in your book? Your book of life? All right. A new scene, and this also is really overwhelming me. <sighs> this is even worse than the first one. She is pretty strung out. I mean, she has really stringy hair. She also, it's like somebody ripped her lips off, and she just has all these teeth. And her face is gray and sunken in, and her eyes are literally looking in every direction. And she's got super long nails, and they're covered in blood and chunks of, of flesh. And she's like very zombie-esque, but there's a, a real intense witch energy to her. But I don't see her having a craft. I just see her looking like a witch, behaving like a, a dark, scary witch, but not really um, developing a craft that would actually intimidate me. This is more like a broken, um, sad 
case here. Um, it's not like a well-developed um, professional. It's not like somebody who put in the time and the effort to become um, what they wanted to be, which is like a, a dark, scary witch um, who actually developed the skills. This is just a mess. This is just a total mess right here. I just don't, I, I, my respect um, is different. So even if it's a, a witch that is um, creating dark magic, um, there was the time and the effort put in to develop the skill and become that persona and that reflection of the divine, okay? Because we all take different paths for different reasons. Um, so I appreciate or I respect those who take the time to actually learn something, <laughs> to transform themselves, to put in the effort and um, to become somebody. And no matter what that dream is, um, their heart was in it to become this, okay? This is just a, a wreck. This is just a mess. This is somebody who needs a hug, you know? Do I want to hug this? It kind of looks like it's got an infection. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want um, a bite on my neck from this thing. <laughs> it, it, is a, it is a message about respect. It is a message about being a mess and being put together. No matter what the... Um, no matter what the energy is you're putting into your craft, and no matter what the, the craft is itself, um, there's something about a soul that, that has the ambition and the passion that is putting the time in to develop themselves to become who they want to be. And there's heart involved in that. There's spirit. There's energy. There's light involved in that. And there's life lessons involved in everything. This is like broken bones, a pile, a wreck, um, a disease, rabies. This is... Uh... So there's no respect for this. Vibrationally, energetically. We are looking at these two and there's no respect for this, but there's respect for this. I know it's probably not going to make a whole lot of sense out there. Um, if we're talking about respecting a dark witch, um, it's not about that. It's about the process of becoming who you want to be. And that takes a lot of time and effort, okay? And that's vibrationally what the message is. The message is literally saying this. Hmm. You are thinking about your identity and who you want to be, who, do you, who you want to become. And I'm supposed to remind you that, and they're showing me something else here that I find interesting, but I'm supposed to remind you that it takes time and it takes effort to become any type of identity. And that identity, you'll, you will go into the depths of that and into the depths of that and into the depths of that, and you will discover more and more and more and more and more about who you are as that identity. And that identity can shift and change as well. So it's dynamic. All identities then are dynamic. What's interesting, they're showing me this mess. It actually took a long time for this to become like that. Um, so it took effort as well. So um, they're actually telling me, so I don't respect the effort that it took to become this wreck, to become this mess. Why don't I respect that? They're asking me this question. I say vibrationally, um, it is so self-harming and it is so much pain and it is not choosing to be flexible it's not choosing to bend the stick it is all in when it comes to suffering and self-destruction and i want to be the cancer i want to be the tumor i want to die and i want to take everybody down with me so i don't enjoy that energy i don't respect that energy it's not um it's not it's not whole however i do care i am a healer so i find that energy to be needing desperately to be nurtured to be and provided a, a path to for self-realization because it's so much pain. It's so much pain in that and still alive with so much pain and still alive. Mind-boggling. And maybe it's the human in me that, that really wants to see the development of something, and the development of a craft, the development of a This is so fascinating. They're showing me something else now. Because we're going to go into the depths of this. We're going to go in deeper. And this is almost like what could be a puzzling pathway. 
and of self-reflection, of reflection about the world, of reflection of different paths, of reflection of different types of people, different types of potholes that we, we fall into or, or build, take ourselves out of those potholes. This is um, two reflections of yourself. Is this how you assess these reflections of yourself? I'm supposed to tell you exactly as I experience it. And there's no respect for this mess. But there is a respect for this one that took the time to, to make herself strong. To be strong in her own identity. Um, that is what we want to aspire to, right? We don't, uh, we don't grow up and say, I want to aspire to be that ball of mess, that rabies infest infested um, nightmare. I want to grow up to be that. We don't say that. Why though? Why don't we say that? It takes time to become that. It takes time. It takes a lot of brokenness. It takes a lot of suffering. It takes a lot of falling off the, the wagon and then getting crunched under the wheel. It takes a, an obsession. It takes a dedication to become that. And so why can't we respect that path? Can we respect that path? This is actually becoming a presentation of a lifetime um, of hard work, diligent effort, self-discovery, decision-making, following one's heart, no matter what that is. And I see this witch as an individual, as somebody who learns from within herself, as a master within herself, discovering the path inside herself and being a representation of that. Now, is it the pers perspective? Are we seeing her as a dark witch or is she actually a dark witch? Because she dresses in black, because she wears a black hat, because she has an overly long nose. She must be a, a dark witch. But when we go into the heart of her pathway, there's something admirable about how she grew up to become something that she wanted to discover herself as a master. I mean, I see an alchemist. I see um, a wizard. I see um, even somebody who is extremely connected to nature. I see somebody with a philosophical um, mind, uh, somebody who takes the time to observe and think about those observations. I see somebody who is, has a knowing. This is so interesting because it is about interpretation. It is about um, transforming interpretation. The beginning, we see this scary monster. Um, we transformed our interpretation into these sort of um, rect rectangular cubes that are going in and out and in and out and in and out. And it was actually kind of cool to look at it. It was actually very satisfying to look at. Um, and it changed the entire dynamic of the scene. So I felt a lot more um, wonderful. <laughs> it wasn't scary at all anymore, right? And now we're entering, in, entering into, oh my God, another layer. This is, this is terrifying. This is terrible. But we're kind of um, taking the time to explore life and identity and what creates a broken identity and what creates a well-developed identity and how we are judgmental of things but how we can always take the time to um, change the way we are perceiving things. Because the whole is the identity that we are going into, the rabbit hole to discover oneself. And then what do we want to do with our time here? How do we want to develop that identity? We have to start somewhere. Do we want to work really, really hard to become this, this chaotic mess? Or do we want to work really, really hard to become something else? Even if people don't perceive it as a, a good witch, maybe they perceive it as a bad witch. Maybe deep down inside, she was just somebody who liked to learn. And somebody liked to present herself in a way that made other people uncomfortable, but actually was truly the spirit of love all along. And so there's something about identity and self-discovery here and your path and perception as well and altering the perception of things from something uncomfortable into something deeper more intelligent more philosophical more meaningful more reflection of love which is saying something about your divine truth you know what i mean all right <laughs> that was phenomenal and interesting hmm, thank you so much for this experience thank you so much for sharing and thank you everybody on YouTube, everybody on Patreon. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I hope you all have a very wonderful day. <laughs>